it seems like a lot of companies these days have a hard time finding and retaining talents. And I work as a talent manager and help companies recruit people. And I think there's three interesting statistics. And the first one is a study made by Manpower Group where they say that 45% of all the companies worldwide have problem finding skilled people for their company. And they call this talent shortage. And the second study is in Sweden, there will be a lack of 70,000 IT professionals within the next couple of years. And there will be no way to kind of find them in the domestic working population. And the third interesting study is that Stack Overflow, the leading community for developers around the world, makes an annual survey every year about what developers want to find in a new job. And 10% says that Working remotely is their top priority when it comes to finding a new job in 2018. And I think these two things go together. The lack of skills and the availability of people that want to work remotely as a growing trend. Before 2014, I didn't do any remote work at all. Like every time I had a job, I went to a geographic location. I made my work on the spot, and then I went home. But since 2014, I've been working more and more remotely, and I've been having at least two projects where you know we, we did all the work remotely. One project with three people in the team, and another one with five people in the team. And as I said before, I, f- I think the, the availability of talents around the globe is, is kind of the edge for companies these days that want to try out remote work like hiring people from abroad because then you can cast a wider net when it comes to recruitment working remotely is not just like finding people in other locations and hiring them you have to kind of adjust the organization to work in a remote setting you need to adjust how you hire how you think about culture and how you set expectations for your employees. Since I've been doing this in my own projects in the last couple of years, I want to share a couple of tips and learnings that I've had so far. And it's not only small organizations that do remote work. The company Automatic that are making the CMS platform WordPress, which is implemented in 25% of all the web pages worldwide, they're working remotely and companies like Sapier, Upwork and many, many more. In this series, I want to give you a couple of insights from the experience I've had working remotely in Teams, things that I think are, are important to think about when kind of transitioning over. And my idea is to give you some value on how you can start working remotely more Uh, Both to kind of retain the people you have in the organization because a lot of people actually want to work remotely, but also to find new talents that you can, can have in your organization and make it easier for you to recruit. So if you have a company or if you're recruiting for a company or if, if you're running a team, I think this would be valuable for you. So hit subscribe if you think this is interesting and next video tomorrow.